we've already lifted the arms embargo, so there's no negotiation. Okay, are you are you concerned about the implications of that, the risk of diversion, et cetera? So we believe that there should not be any form of, um, um, how can I say, a lifting of arm export uh, between uh, NATO allies. Turkey is a NATO ally. We've had some tough conversation, Paul, particularly following the pause on our arms export to Turkey. Uh, I've had uh, very strong uh, and, 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 and uh, direct uh, conversations with my counterpart from Turkey about Armenia in particular. Uh, and um, we... Yeah, sorry, Minister, just, just jump in and put a fine just, point, just, point on it. The, I mean, the, I, no, the, the, me, the export me, of Garnet, arms just, to, to Turkey... If, I could allow, if you could I allow the Minister my to respond, please. I'll let your time. I'll, I'll, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give it back no, to you, but, Minister, but, no, but no, what no, I... But let me just finish sorry, my this, thought. Okay. So... In the context of the arms lifting, we've had these negotiations, we've had tough conversations about international security and regional security, and if there's any problem in terms of regional security uh, and, and any uh, facts that would be presented to me that would uh, make the regional security and international security at risk, we would be uh, pausing again. Minister, we, um, I, I'm going to move on to other topics, but we do know that it was Canadian arms that played a decisive role uh, in the outcome of the Armenia-Azerbaijan war, arms that were diverted. 